Hey, Chris here. So you are together with me today because in this series of videos, you would like to know about more about sales and the mindset over the sales. So I stumbled about an ebook that this ebook is called the name The Aladdin Factor, and the author is Jack Canfield. And Jack Canfield is the the movie, uh, the actor of the movie, uh, the secret one of the one of the actors. So what he said there in in this ebook was that when you need to receive, you need to ask, and if you don't ask, you will not receive. So let me tell you <clears throat> one example of the Aladdin and genie. Aladdin was a person that found the genie. So he just went outside and the genie asked him for three wishes. So what happened with this situation? With this situation happened that Aladdin had couldn't do anything he wanted. Just he needed to ask. He asked and received. So when you have in your to-do list to send 10 direct messages, 20 direct messages, <clears throat> and simultaneously, sometimes you send a lot of direct messages and you don't receive some replies and you won't really to have motivation to send more and more and more. But you see that people are not responding or some people are rude or some people are yelling at you. So finally, you are being discouraged. So from 30 direct messages per day, you go to 20, to 10, and to zero. Why this is happening? Because you created limiting beliefs that your work is not deserving. And because your work is not deserving, that means the people are not liking your message. So you need to stop. You are being discouraged, dissatisfied, rejected. You feel the rejection. And feeling the rejection is going deep into trauma. So this is why it's very correlated. The trauma, the, the past trauma, with the rejection of the sales. What you need to do is always remember that when a client, a prospect says no, or says write me off the list, or he's rude, or whatever, this is to him or to her. This is not to you because when he receives the message, he's feeling somehow offended, but, the, but being offended is just because of him. So what you need to do is give your best in the beginning is difficult. Give your best to overcome the fear of rejection. Yes, I know, I know that when you send these emails, when you send these right direct messages, it's difficult when some people are not replying, when you send 30 direct messages and finally only two reply and no one is interested and you are discouraged, you are dissatisfied, you are demotivated. So you need a lot to practice. So yeah, uh, to close up, to wrap up this video, we need to say that just do the work, 30, 40, 50, 10, whatever is in your to-do list, whatever you can do, but in the compounding effect, when you send 10 every day, you will get better, you will practice more, you will get the feedback of what's happening during your direct messages during the composition of these messages so you will know very well after one week after two weeks after three weeks after four weeks what you need to do and sending 10 20 30 direct messages is just a habit as your morning routine as your workout routine this is a habit so sending 10 or 20 just not one day 30 one day 10 one day 5 one day 40 just always 10 or 20 or 30 keep the compound effect keep the habit after 28 days they say that it's becoming a habit but keep sending see you in the next video